Trees and plants across East Texas took a major hit from last month's Arctic blast. Most leaves have turned brown and are starting to fall off. But as KTK's Kareem Benandi shows us right now, they may look dead, but maybe they're not. It is no question that the trees, plants, and blooms are important to the people of East Texas. I am um, crazy about flowers. Joan Pyron is one of the many people who own a home on the historic Azalea Trail in Tyler. Her well-known garden is full of more than 20 types of azaleas, camellias, multiple bedding plants, and many more. At any different time of the year, who knows what, what's out there. Usually, uh, whatever is blooming and in um, you know, in, in, in the season is what's out in my yard. But the extremely harsh weather cost Pyron her beautiful blooms. Every one of them. Unusual conditions have caused many plants to react in ways people have never seen. Not only are the leaves getting to where they look worse, I'm looking and I'm seeing a little bit of green on the stems, which means that they're not dead. And so hopefully they will be back, but not in the next week or two. <laughs> right now, many gardeners first method of action to save their damaged plants is to over nurse them or even cut them back. But that's not the right move that could really hurt them rather than help them. Don't be anxious to go out and cut things up. You may be cutting off the one viable branch that you had, and it may be that we can just simply regrow our plants and not have to do too much replacement but it's just too early to say. Experts say you should wait at least six weeks to start cutting or feeding damaged plants. They may show signs of death, but they could actually be alive. Shedding of leaves, that's not always a bad thing. If the, tr if the plant will go ahead and shed the leaves, it could be that it's just simply reacting to the damage and gonna put on new leaves. While he predicts many plants will pull through this, some like the Cleara trees, a standard evergreen for East Texas, may not survive. And while the azalea plant itself is predicted to survive, it is unlikely we will see them blooming this spring. Corinne Benanti, KETK News. Boils down to this, experts say after giving your plants a few weeks to heal, one way to check if they're alive or not is by scratching the stem and looking for a nice green color. If it's there, it's alive.